we're, like I said before, we're going to hold all the PlayStation meeting stuff, which is the hugest or largest or biggest or most important news of the week uh, for the topics. So the news here are just some other things that happened. Yes, other things happened in the video game world besides the PlayStation <laughs> meeting. Um, so the first bit of news here, Batman the Telltale Series Episode 2 release date. Uh, this comes by way of Video Games Blogger and uh, Fairy. I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name or her name. Uh, what is the Batman Telltale, uh, Telltale Series Episode 2 release date? Telltale Games has promised that on average... Yada, yada, yada. It goes into what exactly you can expect of, of when it's going to, like, basically the time period between episodes. And then they finally get into saying that it's officially being confirmed um, that episode 2 titled Children of Arkham, which is a pretty cool title, uh, is arriving on September 20th um, for PC, X, uh, Xbox One, and PS4. Um, this is awesome, but for me, it's more and more like leaning towards I'm gonna wait for the whole series to be out mm -hmm. um, before I play it. I wanted to get into episode one, but the more and more I think about it, like I still haven't even finished Game of Thrones yet, and that's like more of a priority to me. So I'm gonna just wait for this to come out all at once and just you know dip in at then and get them all played through. So yeah, hell yeah, that's how I'm. I'm really excited mostly about this uh, announcement because of the fact that it means that they're staying on schedule. Yeah, and um, that means that I think they should be done with this game by the end of the year, um, which also means that they might be able to stay on schedule for Walking Dead, which would be really really nice. Um, for both of those, I think Walking Dead is going to be tough because there's going to be a lot of people talking about it, so I might play those individually. Uh, but for this one, I'm definitely going to wait just because that's the way to play those Telltale games, man. For me, uh, I think. It just, they're they're pretty large chunks, but you know, just playing one or two a day, um, sitting down and, and munching on those is like the perfect way to, to go about it. It's kind of like a Netflix show versus a show that you watch weekly on TV. Like, I like it both ways, but if I had my choice, I'd probably just take it all at once. You know? Yeah, I I 100% for the Netflix model over regular TV. Yeah. Like, give me the show all at once and let me take it in at my speed however I want to. You know, Stranger yeah. Things, I watched that, like, in two nights. Um, but it's different for every show because, like, I love Jessica Jones, but I paced myself because I really enjoy that show and I didn't want to, you know, watch it all in one night. So I, I like just yeah. give me everything and let me decide how to intake it as opposed to having to wait week by week by week, and that gets kind of frustrating. <laughs> so. so I'm with you guys, but for some things I just have, like, an insatiable desire to watch or you know play the most recent thing that's available like i hate sure. feeling i hate that feeling of like knowing something's released and it's available for me to watch but i haven't watched it and i can't watch it yet till i get home even yeah. that day i hate that feeling of like it's new it's out there i need to watch it now like i i don't know i'm one of those weird people who likes things at release um you know so i'm one of those people that fall for all the pre-order bullshit and all that <laughs> but i don't care yeah teach their own uh, completely understand. Well, that's the great thing about the Telltale games is you can take them however you want. You can get them when they first come out. You can wait for all of them to come out. Yada yada yada. It's up to you. Uh, more Batman news. A um, bunch of Batman news this week. Uh, that's why Jordan on the video version is wearing a Batman shirt. He knew what was happening. Uh, so this comes up with uh, VG247. Uh, who is this by? Brenna Hillier. Uh, writes Batman Arkham uh, Return to Arkham dated for October. So if you guys don't remember, this collection was initially announced earlier this year, and it had a a, a release date of I think August, right? August something. Either way, it got right. indefinitely delayed, and then we weren't even sure if this game was going to come out this year or happen at all. There was even murmurs that it was completely canceled. Um, it was and, July, I think. July, okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, this uh, basically it includes. Uh, uh, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, all of its DLC to PS4 and Xbox One. Um, it having been delayed from a July launch date to performance concerns, Batman Return to Arkham will release on October 18th. Um, the weird thing is a lot of people think that the original versions actually look better than the remasters. Um, they totally redid the color and it just looks it looks off. It doesn't fit the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, it looks different. Um, I never played the any of the, the series, which I know it's a shame. Those are really good games. I just wow. never got into it. Um, there's a gap. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are, are, you're not a huge Batman fan, right? No, he's definitely not even like he's not even in the top five. I think of characters I like in the Batman universe. Still play, just play, <laughs> play City. Okay. 
Yeah, like you know, I like I like him uh, like I like a majority of his villains more and like Nightwing more than I like him. Even like Red Robin and I guess I was just thinking of good characters and I was like, wait, so oh. you like the entire Batman? <laughs> no, no, more no, than no, Batman. no. Yeah, no, no, no. Definitely, when you get a chance, do play Arkham City because that one is phenomenal. I don't know okay. about Asylum. I think it's this similar to City, but smaller. I think I actually on. own the Game of the Asylum's Year edition on Steam and I just haven't gotten around to it, so I might just no. play that. But yeah, then think, Arkham Knight, don't Asylum's. go near it. Don't I go near Arkham Knight. That. I yeah. think Arkham Arkham Asylum's a really, really good game. I think I think uh, all of them look like really good games. I liked what, yeah. what Knight looked like. Arkham City's great, but uh it does have its issues and then Arkham Knight, personally, I think that people shit all over that game when it doesn't really deserve it. Like to me the tank stuff was not nearly as bad as people made it. Oh, it was I awful. enjoyed the tank. Like uh, you guys people that complain about this game sound like kids having to go to the dentist or something like, like oh my god mom you can't make me do this again the tank missions mom they Don't just make you take me back there <laughs> they make you do it so much and it's so awful i'm like it's just Dude, like how, how else is batman gonna take these like giant tanks down like he can't do know. it with his fists write more f- regular villain regular thugs in there without tanks i don't well, this know this is already the third I, game I like do you think it i yeah, I definitely see how. I totally agree that it was shoehorned in, and they were totally trying to make yeah. a big, a big step for their last game. But I don't think it's nearly as bad as people say. And people act like that totally ruins the game, and that the rest of the game isn't good because of that. And that's totally not true. Like Arkham Knight is an incredible achievement that they've made with a a uh, a big sore you know, sticking out of its arm. It is ugly. The, the only true it's, travesty it's of that terrible. game was its PC port. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that <laughs> is terrible. No doubt about that. Yeah. No doubt about um, that. Yeah, so that's Batman. Uh, next up here, uh, so Mass Effect Andromeda was shown at the PlayStation meeting, but uh, there's actually a major Mass Effect reveal coming. It was actually, uh, there was some information leaked today that, so... You, normally in the Mass Effect games, you either choose a male or a female character, and you can customize him, and it's the same character. It's the same Shepard. But for this new game... Transgender? Uh, no, the the male and the female character, depending on who you choose, are actually brother and sister, and the other one exists in the world. So what Whoa. I'm thinking, and this is my, only t- my personal take on it, is that whoever you pick, so say I pick a female character, that male character, there's probably going to be some kind of family mission in the game. And, you know, if you pick the female, then you'll the male will be the person you're trying to save or trying to help or whatever happens. Then if you pick the male, the female is the one, you know, so it kind of just... So it's like Fallout? Um, yeah, kind of. Um, also, I guess the character in the, like, the early stuff of Andromeda is their father or something. I don't, I'm not too, too clear on that, but it's like a whole wow. family thing going on, which is pretty interesting. This um, is weird and cool. Yeah, so I'm going to read this here, the story from IGN. It comes by way of Nicole Carpenter. Three minutes of Mass Effect Andromeda running on the PS4 Pro was previewed during Sony's PlayStation meeting today, but more information about the upcoming is expected to be released on November 7th, better known to Mass Effect fans as N7 Day. The Mass Effect Twitter account posted that on N7 Day, the doors to the new chapter of Mass Effect Universe will officially be opened. Along with a new trailer and another tweet, the Mass Effect account said that fans can expect a deep level of customization in Mass Effect Andromeda, and more information on the customization options will be unveiled soon, presumably also on N7 Day. Bioware and Titan Books are also releasing a series of Mass Effect novels to bridge the gap between the original Mass Effect trilogy and Mass Effect Andromeda. You, you, the books begin you, rolling out you. in August and will continue to be released through March 18th. Mass Effect Andromeda was one of the many games shown off during PlayStation September press briefing, and then it goes on to say if you want more information, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this big blood event. Uh, everyone knows that Mass Effect is my favorite franchise. Um, we got literally nothing at the PlayStation meeting. It was a walking simulator going from terminal to terminal. It showed off some of the cool aspects of the game where, like, there was moving, like, rocks and stuff, and there's, like, this weird alien technology. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that didn't... You didn't make it sound too interesting. Well, I mean... There's these moving rocks and alien technology. Yeah, I mean, it, for all intents and purposes, like, I love Mass Effect, but that, that whole thing wasn't interesting in the slightest. Um... For somebody who's like, I'm a huge Mass Effect fan, and I almost started tuning out. It was kind of boring. No, um, I totally, I totally agree with you. And yeah, they just they ended it right as the combat started. Yeah, right as like the interesting thing started. Um, but the the cool thing is that like I like the way the game looks. So I like the the aesthetic of the game and stuff like that. Uh, also, this is inside like a cave on a certain planet. So I think there's going to be a lot of like different really cool environments. But um, 
I'm excited for uh, you know N7 Day. Uh, usually in the past when there isn't a game release, they usually have like some cool collector's edition uh, like lithograph or um, they even released the uh, one of the guns that you could buy. Um, so it's cool they do a lot of stuff on N7 Day for their community and stuff like that. So I'm excited for the reveal event where hopefully we'll get some combat for Jordan's sake and Jesus, uh, dude. we'll get a big blowout. I'm dying over here. I need some water. <laughs> right. Uh, the biggest uh, news this week outside of the PlayStation event, I think personally, is that uh, Nintendo announces Super Mario Run for iOS. It's coming to Android later. This was unveiled at the Apple event that took place the same day as the PlayStation meeting. Uh, Mario is officially coming to the iPhone. Nintendo's Shigeru Miyamoto made a surprise appearance at today's Apple conference to announce Super Mario Run. Um, it's not an endless runner, actually, as most people anticipated it to be. It has set levels and stuff like that. Um... Nintendo tells Kotaku, we do intend to release the game on Android devices at some point in the future. And then they show a full video of the actual, um, the, the, the demo that they showed off. And it's using the Super uh, Super Mario uh, engine, right, I believe? Um, I think so. The new, new Super, Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Brothers engine, yeah. So, um, this game's going to, oh, and also it's not a free-to-play with microtransactions. It's a set price point. So, I think it's using assets from New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, not the engine, sorry. Uh, graphics from New Super Mario Bros. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, the fact that it's one solid price point, I think, doesn't change the fact that this game is still going to make a ton of money. Um, hand over fist, you know. It's going to make incredible Sure, but numbers. I think they're really late to the game here, man. I mean, like, if this is the stuff that... Like, you've waited all this time to finally put Nintendo your Nintendo IPs on the iPhone or the Android store, like, this is... You you just made a game from, like, three years ago? That's what you did with your... Yeah, your well, they've... Blowout? They've said that they don't want to put their full games on mobile devices. They just want to give people, like, a little taste and try to woo people into buying their other consoles. So that's why that, this is, like, like, a limited, tiny little kind of... Just the fact that even if it's not an endless runner, people are saying it's essentially like a copy of a a Rayman game that's already been um, on the store. So I'm just like, why why not make something original, you know? Well, this isn't for us, though. This is for, like, mobile gamers who are like, oh, there's a Mario game on the iPhone. That's that's what sells on phones, apparently. I don't get it either. Yeah, like, if you look at any of the games that are super popular on on iPhones or any of those mobile devices, none of them intrigue me personally, but they sell and they make mad money. We're not the market they're looking to please, you know? Yeah. So, True. And they'll save their new Mario games for the NX. Hopefully, we get that announcement soon. Um, yeah, but it's it's weird that they showed up at the Apple event. Normally, you yeah. know, with this kind of stuff, Nintendo wants to be Nintendo and show it off at a Nintendo event. So, it's really interesting that they were like, yeah, we'll go and be on this Apple event. Um, so, I thought that was really super interesting. Super smart. Super, super smart. That part having was Mi- smart, yeah. Having yeah. Miyamoto actually come out on stage during the Apple event. The same Apple event where the iPhone 7 was revealed. Like, that's just they, this is going to do well for them. Yeah, the other the other and big they need it. the other big announcement is that Pokemon Go is coming to the Apple uh, the iWatch. Oh uh, yeah. So that's interesting too for people who still play Pokemon Go, which people like to like say that there's no one playing it. It still has a pretty hefty user base. Um, so people are yeah. still playing that game and enjoying it. It's not the zeitgeist it was anymore, but I mean it still has a pretty large player base. Um, I just feel like it could have it, it would totally still have its player base if they had actually made the game that people thought that they were making. Like if it had battling and trading, I would be playing it right now. Yeah. And you know? I, I yeah, I'm not saying they didn't make mistakes, but like people act like it has like no one playing it anymore, which is not the it's, case at all. It is almost scary how how crazy their numbers drop, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, but that's like mobile gaming in a nutshell though. Are you the are you the flavor of the week, you know? Um 